I literally haven't made a video in a whole week. Um, I just didn't feel like I wanted to, especially with what happened like 10, 10 11 days ago. Um, and now within, within two weeks of uh, the Manchester attack, uh, something else has happened now guys. I am a very tolerant guy Genuinely, I have so much patience. I can wait out someone and piss them off by waiting them out To get what I need to get done um, <laughs> I don't think that that type of thinking will actually help with this situation But something has to be done. This is not a joke. This is not funny in any way Okay, there's been another attack another the fact that I have to say another attack in London. What the f***? I, 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 seven people have been killed with with vans running them over. These these guys don't even need preparation anymore. They just decide I'm just going to run people over with a f***ing car. Sadistic f***. Machetes? Machetes? I heard in the radio some guy say that he saw someone. He saw someone get stabbed through the chest with a machete. Like, this is like some barbaric as f***. Shit, this is disgusting. And someone I know was working in Central last night, um, and I just went and picked them up. I was like, I'm gonna drive in and pick you up. Um, I didn't want them getting the train back. Plus, they probably wouldn't have got back till like ridiculous o'clock. But I was just not comfortable with it, you know. Uh, I'm a pretty happy-go-lucky guy. Um, I don't feel that idea of oh, I don't get scared when you walk down the street. You know, w women get scared when they walk down the street. You know what? No. No, I'm pretty sure there are going to be a bunch of men being like, no, nah, no, nah, you know what? I'm, I, I, I don't think it's a, it's a solid idea to be uh, heading out at three in the morning. You know, um, I don't know. I don't know. Something clearly isn't right. I think there is a religion in the world. I won't say the name of it, Islam, that um, needs major reforming. And reforming will obviously come from the West. I understand that. It makes a lot of sense. But Jesus Christ, it makes me feel sick. I don't like it at all. It's still, I think, settling in, like, what has happened in the last, like, eight hours, nine hours. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I think Theresa May came out and had a pretty good speech uh, about it. Corbyn doing his traditional Corbyn-ness. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm not going to lay into anyone needlessly. But, Theresa May, you're not the finest politician in the world. I'll tell you that for free. Um, but I think you have a pretty decent speech there. You need to look up a bit more though. You need to look up just a little bit more. It gives a bit more of a genuine feel to it. Um, yeah, you can tell I'm not exactly sure what to do with this, I feel. Compared to the last video one week ago about that, which was uh, much more emotionally driven, that had time, I think, to marinate. And this one is just so quick off the cuff as in it's just happened now and I'm doing this it just feels very strange it almost doesn't feel real I mean driving back at 2 30 in the morning from the center didn't feel real um, but the police cars were all over the place you know I don't know it's a very strange time we're in I think people just need to be careful don't risk it you have young kids you have young kids do not let them be going out to uh, you know till 2 in the morning for the sake of it. 24 hour tube is great, but don't be doing that. Don't be doing that. Obviously, when you're an adult, you can do what you want. You can make your own decisions, but hey, whatever. I may have said in my last video uh, about how most terrorism occurs in the Middle East by Middle Easterns and, and Muslims via the way of Islam. And I said that that culture is being brought to, to, to our countries now. And I say our countries because I'm a Brit. You know, I'm Indian, but I'm a British Indian, you know, um, it's my, I, I mean, I, that word identity is a very strange one, but um, I qualify myself as British. I'm a British citizen, I would do pretty much anything for this country. If conscription happened, I would, hey, I'd jump in. That would be it. But, I don't know, I don't know what, what's, what's, what's going to happen. I don't know, Jeremy Corbyn says something about a peace minister. I think that's garbage, and this isn't about him and his policies and his lack of understanding of economic policy. Um, this is purely just, that just sounds ridiculous. But um, regardless of that, I hope you guys have a, uh, a, a top day. Well, that sounds weird saying that. I hope you guys have a decent day. I hope you guys, uh, 
do what you need to do, spend time with the people you love, and um, hey, keep your head up, keep your head up, you being sad won't change anything, so just, uh, just try and be in some way be positive. And honestly all the best to uh, all the victims' families, I know, I know it's not as easy as just forgetting about it, people try. People try, but that's not the right way to go. Let's celebrate that person's lives instead of uh, just trying to lock it away in yourself. That's never the option. That's never the option. When a lot of people are in intensive care as well, apparently really, really bad. <sighs> really, really fucked up stuff, guys. Really fucked up stuff. Anyway, I'll, uh, I'll see you next time. Skadoosh.